So the Buffalo Sabres and Boston Bruins will be facing off after a break, and would the Sabres be able to keep up their momentum? Levi would start net for the Sabres and Jeremy Swayman for the Bruins. This was an interesting matchup because the Bruins have struggled to win lately, and the Sabres, after that nine cold performance, they have something to build off of. The Bruins would start off the scoring, Heine with a great back check, Lori with an awesome move at the blue line, throws their JVR, Lori follows the shot, Bruins go up 1-0, this was a great play by the bees later in the first period we would see marshawn get a questionable call against him and due to him complaining to the refs he would end up getting four minutes and the sabers would go on the power play but throughout this night it was a theme they just couldn't get anything past this bruins penalty kill they were really good they just frustrated the sabers all night so nothing really came out of their power play opportunities marshawn when he comes out of the box Great chance here to get a second goal, but good stop there by Levi. But the penalty calls would not be finished there. Geeky would draw one here. Bruins would go on the power play, and at first, looked kind of flat. Very stagnant, struggled to get anything going in the offensive zone. But then finally, Marshawn downloaded Brusque over to Coyle. He roofs this top shelf. Bruins have themselves a 2-0 lead. And heck, Olmark even saw a little bit of action. Good glove save there on the bench. We would go into the second period. And the Sabres really wanted to get something going. Good stop here by Swayman. Other end, kind of a backwards flick towards the net. Good stop by Levi. But the penalty bug would strike again. They called that a slash on Skinner. That was a... That was a really bad call. The rest were not good tonight. This would lead to another power play goal. Pasta down low. Coy will bounce it off Johnson's skate. He gets his second goal of the game, 12th of the season. Bruins are now up 3-0. We would see a save of the year candidate right here by Charlie McAvoy. Batting this out of midair. Swayman makes that initial stop, but great hand-eye to prevent this from going into the back of the net. Sabres would try to keep it going. Good feed across, and Swayman would rise to the occasion. The penalty bug would not stop though. Jost going to the box for tripping, putting this Bruins lethal power play out there again. Great puck movement. Geeky just chops this off Levi. Bruins go up for nothing. Some of these calls, a little bit suspect. I don't think the rest had their best game. Buffalo has a good opportunity here. But then Middlestad would elbow Marshawn in the face. Now it's a four on four. Marshawn's laughing, he's bleeding like crazy. But we would not be done there. Charlie McAvoy goes to the box for tripping. This was an absolute penalty killing clinic. Buffalo Sabres on a four on three. And this was a great, great penalty to take. Two on O. Oh, Cousins waiting like, hey, I'm open. Three guys in the box just chilling. The Sabres would have a five on three power play. But Shattenkirk with a huge stick here. Keep this out of the net. The Bruins would survive those penalties to get into the third period. But again, we're going back to the box. Dan Heinen doesn't know how to stop. He rams right into Levi. The Sabres just really couldn't do much on their power play. Not much came of it. Not much pressure. Couple good stops by Swayman. But the Sabres would finally be able to get on the board. Johnson, clap bomb, beat Swayman, good moving screen. The Sabres are now down 4-1. And the Bruins would respond. Marshawn here on a breakaway. Good stop by Levi. Levi was tested. And it was a good surge back by the Bruins. Awesome saucer pass there from Zaka. Pasta can't get it past Levi. And probably the best goaltender for the Sabres tonight was Darlene. He made a couple nice stops to keep it from going in the empty net. The Bruins would win this game 4-1. So my takeaways from this game are a couple things. Bruins need to get this. They played a lot better in this game in comparison to the last three or four games. Showed a far better effort. Their special teams led the charge. Dominant on the power play, locked it up on the penalty kill. While they gave the Sabres opportunities to get some goals on the board, the PK rose to the occasion. And as for the Sabres, it has to be a bit frustrating after you win a game against the Maple Leafs 9-3. You have some momentum built, you're playing pretty good hockey, but then coming out of the break, you kind of come out flat. Now, Tage Thompson getting out of the lineup due to personal reasons right before the game definitely doesn't help things. I think this Buffalo Sabres team is still very young, very talented, and there's going to be these ups and downs. But at some point, we have to talk about it. If this head coach can't get the most out of these players, he can't maximize their talent, you might have to make a change there. But I'd like to know your thoughts down below. Who stood out to you the most in this game? I'm Captain Paul. I'll see you in the next one.